Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you my improvised frunk that I built for my eagle. As it does not have one from factory. So I'm just going to show you. I already pop the hood here so I can just open it up and you can see that here is a lot of room inside the car um, and it's not really well optimized because it's a compliance car and it was um, previously a combustion engine car and they just retrofitted all of it to be electric. So we have a lot of free space in here and I did already I think two years ago or one and a half years ago um, I built and designed a concept to put in a frunk and I never got past my prototype stage because it just worked good enough for me so I never uh, had the need to change it anymore um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you today how I fit it in here and um, yeah, how it works and what the measurements are if you want to build one yourself, which is pretty easy. It's not that complicated because as you can see here in the back of my car and don't mind the mess, it's always, always dirty in my car, um, the box of my frunk is back in here. In the trunk because when my car goes into service or something uh, I'll just remove it from the front to not get any problems with the dealer that does the service um, because I'm not quite sure if it's allowed to do it so um, yeah my box just currently sits in here and it's pretty basically a pl plastic box I got on the construction market and um, it's the 30 by 50, I think, or 30 by 40 box. Um, yeah, 30 centimeters uh, in depth and 40 in width. And um, the highest point was originally 22 centimeters, maybe. Um, but I, I cut it down. Um, to 20 centimeters at the top, gradually going down to 10 in the front. So it fits with the hood quite well. To put the box in here in the front, I had to move this um, valve or sensor or something thing a bit down there. You can open this clip up and move it out and put it down and put it in again. Uh, doesn't change anything, everything still works awesome. And then you have a lot of room in here to put something in. It also doesn't get too hot, uh, so no problem at all. I used it in my Italy, on my Italy road trip, as you may, might have seen. Um, so no problem at all whatsoever. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna put that box on this area and whoops it's a bit complicated with one hand but it'll do uh, so we'll have a look to line up those holes if you can see them let's check yeah but so these two holes you're trying to line up and those two as well um so we can get some cable ties through there um, to fix up the box. Maybe we will take it out and put in the cable ties and put it in again after that. And back here, you have also got this hole in here. I'm, yeah, I think that was there originally. So I didn't have to uh, drill any holes in the box. Um, so yeah, cable tie through here and around this uh, 
big chunky cable mount here no oh, i'm sorry that already was there before for the uh motor or inverter i'm not sure where the cable goes maybe it's also just a controlling cable uh thing i'm not sure and the other cable tie goes through the right hole down there again around the uh the cable that's been there and then the box is uh, fixed enough to not move around and fit quite well so i'm just gonna try to set you up over here and then i put the cable ties in and yeah so i couldn't find any way to mount my phone so i just prepared the cable ties those are strapped through here and here and over here and now i'm just gonna try and put the box on there and pull the cable ties through i'll update you as soon as i was successful doing this give me a sec so i put them through in all the four places so back here as well and over there and it's already quite well mounted you can push it around a bit of course uh, so we are going to let me change the cameras so um let me try and do this one-handed even though that will be a bit complicated i try to do it that's fine by now for now for now fine for now and the other one as well it's enough if it's um you don't need to use a uh, um any tool to pull it stronger that's way enough it can't go anywhere again for the back side let's put it through here all right looks good also with those cables don't pull it too tight otherwise you could uh, damage the cables and we don't want to do that because those are pretty important i think otherwise they wouldn't be there um let's get this over here i hope the camera movements aren't too bad i can concentrate on uh doing both pulling the ga cable ties and getting good video i need i really need to get a camera mount or phone mount for those things um yeah i'm just gonna zip it uh tight and then i'll update you all right so those are pulled tight i also uh, put the long ends just to the side i'm too lazy to cut them off they aren't in the way anyway so just put them somewhere where, we, where they wouldn't fly around um over here as well and now i have to just put the cable flush in the box so i don't damage uh, the hood maybe this way around yeah should be working fine the bricks in the way a bit but that's okay and then i can close this up i'm just gonna do it like this i can push it uh closed if i don't want to open it again but it works fine also it's almost perfect maybe you could uh cut off um one or two more millimeters all around but um i think it's good enough and uh, like that it's also uh closed very well so it doesn't get wet in there and uh yeah you could also store something else in here as it's always locked it's not the prettiest but um it's functional and that's what's what counts most for me at least um so yeah for the next service uh i'm just gonna take it out again put it in the in the back and when i get the car back i just put it in here again 
so I have a bit more uh, storage space just in the front and also now in the back as I don't need to put the box or the cable or all the shit in the back. Um, yeah, so. that's been it for now. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye.